Chapter 52 Fatty Zhuang seeks help. Beishi, is there any sign of movement from the Pil King Garden? Zhang Chen would lower his guard with regards to the Pil King Garden. Although the Pil King Garden's decline was a foregone conclusion, one would fall victim in return if a snake isn't beaten to death. Zhang Chen would never permit such a thing to happen. Master, the decline of the Pil King Garden is an inevitable development. It is said that all the senior executives of the Pil King Garden are prepared to abandon the garden and throw themselves under the Duke of Soaring Dragon's banner, in order to become vagabond hang-ons. It looks like we've underestimated the people of the Pil King Garden. Those who suit their actions to the time are wise. The Pil King Garden is smart regarding this point. They thoroughly sought refuge with the Duke of Soaring Dragon upon knowing that a trend cannot be halted. This way, the Duke of Soaring Dragon will surely not be unwelcoming towards them. An alchemy master is absolutely a strong reinforcement for a duke who desires to rebel. Yes, yes. Honored master is able to penetrate deeply into all things. Kiao Beishi nodded, thinking nothing of Zhang Chen's style of speaking with no scruples. Beishi, I've come this time to ready some pill medicines. I need some materials. Prepare them for me. As someone's honored master, enjoying this kind of benefit was a given. Honored master, your disciple has already prepared ten heavenly karma pill, ten vast ocean pill and a couple bottles of one Buddha powder. One had to say, Kiao Beishi's thoughts were quite clever and quite caring when it came to contemplating problems. He knew that Zhang Chen would participate in the hidden dragon trials and thus had reserved these pill medicines for Zhang Chen early on. Zhang Chen was very satisfied by this. These are the ingredients that I need, prepare these as well. Zhang Chen naturally had his uses for these ingredients. His father had been ambushed on the steps of his house last time, and had fallen victim to a wicked poison. This time, Zhang Chen planned to commence an eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth attack, by fighting poison with poison. He too had prepared a few frightening poisons. This was all a piece of cake to Zhang Chen. Although using poison was an unorthodox way, one still had to prepare someone in the midst of exceedingly poor conditions, and before strength had been built up. This was being prepared against the war. If the enemy deployed an underhanded move, then fighting poison with poison would be a good thing. Once all the requisite items had been prepared, Zhang Chen didn't linger around the Hall of Healing for too long. Kiao Beishi was also kept extremely busy, and they both didn't wish to waste each other's time. After returning to the manor, Zhang Chen discovered that Fatty Zhuang had waited for him at the Zhang Han Manor for quite some time. The heir to the Hubing Dukedom, Hubing Yu, had also accompanied him. Brother Chen, I've finally awaited your arrival. Your brother is suffering. It was as if Fatty Zhuang had met a lifesaver when he finally saw Zhang Chen. What's going on? With the hidden dragon trials near at hand, Zhang Chen also knew that Fatty Zhuang would definitely not idly visit here if there was nothing going on. Fatty Zhuang had a bitter face. Brother Chen, I was also deeply moved by your words last time and decided to turn over a new life in order to reserve the right for my next generation to be fops. I had planned to use all the fat on my body to keep the dukedom. But... Fatty Zhuang heaved another sigh when he got to this point. Hurry and speak if you've got something to say, hurry and let it out if you've got a far to release. Zhang Chen couldn't bear to see Fatty Zhuang speak in such a falteringly way. Brother Chen, you should also know that this body of fat makes it more difficult for me to train than other ordinary people. I would have been able to slip through the hidden dragon trials with my five meridians true chi. However, some fellow with six meridians true chi suddenly appeared in my family's clan a few days ago. The conclave of the family elders are now calling for the strongest youth in the clan to participate in the hidden dragon trials. Brother Chen, you know that. If that fellow is allowed to participate in the hidden dragon trials, then it won't be me that inherits my old man's Jinshan dukedom, but that bastard. What's his name? Zhang Chen asked faintly. He's called Zhuan Nuan. Fatty Zhuan revealed an expression that yearns to take a bite out of that person's flesh when he mentioned this name. This kid was originally only four meridians true chi but I don't know if he's suddenly gone crazy, or if he's been hiding his strength all along, waiting until the last minute to steal my thunder. Fatty Zhuan was at five meridians true chi and had lingered at this level for about a year or two. He'd been unable to find the sixth Aku point at all during this time. Zhang Chen's forehead furrowed vaguely. Didn't I tell you two to come find me before the trials? Were you planning on not coming at all if this hadn't happened? Hu Bing Yu's face flushed red. Brother Chen, my old man at home has been keeping a tight watch on me. He says it's because of the hidden dragon trials there at hand, and that he won't let me come out and act wildly. Ah, uh, whatever. Since you've found me Fatty Zhuan, then I'll give you two ideas. Zhang Chen said lightly. Brother, you're my brother all right. I can't even think of one idea and you have two? Please hurry and speak, your brother will do as you say. Fatty Zhuang beamed with delight as his face full of depression was swept clean away. First, I take action on your behalf and surreptitiously get rid of that Zhuang Yuan with one stroke. Fatty Zhuang retracted his head and a cold chill prickled at the back of his head as he looked at Zhang Chen's murderous expression. He chuckled, this won't do, definitely won't do. Interference from outsiders, particularly from you brother Chen, will result in both our doom if someone successfully investigates this. I'm not afraid, but I can't pull you down with me. Then it's the second idea, you beat him fair and square leaving him with nothing to say. Zhang Chen didn't beat around the bush. Fatty Zhuang, however, looked like he bit into a bitter gourd. Brother, would I be suffering so, if I could beat him fair and square? Do you think I'm as abnormal as you to challenge someone above my level and beat a Yan monkey like beating a dog? Fatty Zhuang, when did you become so good for naught? Did I say for you to challenge his six meridians true chi with your five meridians true chi? I am five meridians true chi though, you know that brother Chen. I've been stuffed there for about a year. 
This sixth Aku point is playing hide and seek with me. Thaddy Zhuan was quite dejected. If you were able to ascend to six meridians true Qi, would you have the confidence to defeat him? Zhang Chen asked lowly. If it was six meridians against six meridians, would I be afraid of him? Brother Chen, I'm still the son of the Duke of Jinshan after all. My heritage and potential are all better than him. Besides, the fat on my body isn't good for nothing. In terms of tonnage, I can crush him to pieces with no questions about it. Thaddy Zhuan's spittle flew wildly. All right, then I'll help you break through to six meridians true Qi. Brother Chen, what did you say? Help me break through. Fatty Zhuan had a look of incredulity on his face and off on the side. Hu Bin Yu also listened with a face full of shock. Helping someone break through was a mighty feat that only a true Qi master could materialize on occasion. Brother Chen, are you a true Qi master who's been concealing his strength? Fatty Zhuan was agitated with excitement. Remember when I told you to come find me last time? I said that I would give you a surprise. Although you've come a bit late, the surprise still exists. Zhang Chen had no time to engage in idle chatter with Fatty Zhuan but said seriously, before I reveal the surprise, the two of you must swear that only the three of us will know of this matter. Apart from us, this must not be divulged to anyone else. Otherwise, this will be the equivalent of giving me up as a brother. Fatty Zhuan patted his chest. Brother, you're the person that I, Fatty, feel closest to. Even my old man can only take his place in line behind you. If I don't listen to you, I will be struck by lightning. Brother Chen, I too swear to safeguard this secret. If it is disclosed, then let my household be slaughtered. Hu Ming Yu wasn't as serious as Fatty Zhuan, but his oath was even more ruthless. All right. Zhang Chen's gaze moved slightly. He was still rather at ease, and trusted these two best friends. Listen up. I am passing a method onto you today. This method can allow you to locate the Aku points within your body, making it unnecessary for you to spend large amounts of time in exploration of the next Aku point before each breakthrough like other practitioners. My method can allow you to simultaneously locate the next Aku point. What? Hu Bing Yu reacted even faster as his expression changed drastically. Brother Chen, how can such a method exist in this world? Brother Chen, R. Are you going to say that this was also the result of divine possession? Fatty Zhuan tongue was tying itself into knots. Don't ask me where it comes from. Are you willing to learn? Willing. I'm willing. I'm an absolute idiot if I'm not willing. Fatty Zhuan didn't even crease his brow. Brother Chen, if this method exists, I'd like to learn too. Hu Bing Yu was not ambiguous. All right, listen well. This method is called true Aku Point Resonance and is a secret that is not passed on. If knowledge of this method is leaked, it is sure to cause a great turmoil in the world of cultivation. You two would also inevitably attract fatal disasters. This is why I had you promise earlier that you would divulge this. Fatty Zhuan was listening with a parched mouth and scorched tongue. He trusted Zhang Chen blindly. He would unequivocally believe anything that Zhang Chen said. Therefore, he'd already treated this true Aku Point Resonance method as real. Although a sliver of doubt still existed in Hu Bing Yu, he too felt great confidence in Zhang Chen. Let's stop chatting and start listening to the formula. Zhang Chen also didn't want to waste time in convincing them and he simply, and directly, started passing on the formula. Let the truth explain everything. One had to say, practitioners were all naturally endowed with cleverness. After running through the formula three times, Fatty Zhuan and Hu Bing you could recite it fluently from memory. There's no use in talking anymore. Both of you, try using this method. True Aku Point Resonance came from an even higher level, but it wasn't such an advanced method at the end of the day. However, it was impossible for the Eastern Kingdom to possess such a method with its level. Fatty Zhuan and Hu Bing you started their experimentation and their expressions started changing after a short while. Joy slowly appeared, surprise, and then glee. As if one had discovered a precious treasure. Truly, their emotions right now could only be described, as if they'd discovered a precious treasure. Brother Chen, I really located it. This is amazing. I located the 8th Aku point. Brother Chen, I'm, I'm too happy. Hu Bing Yu was so excited that tears were almost falling. Hu Bing looked dignified and strong and his training potential was exceedingly high. Otherwise, with the Hu Bing Dukedom's less than impressive ranking, how would Hu Bing Yu have trained to 7 meridians true Chi at such a tender age? Locating the 8th Aku point meant that he had the chance to break through to 8 meridians true Chi before the hidden dragon trials. Breaking through to 8 meridians true Chi meant that he, Hu Bing Yu, had the opportunity to contend for the ranking of one of the top 10 dukes. As for Fatty Zhuan, his body, as rotund as a leather ball, suddenly bounced up with a roar, his entire being almost going mad as his motions were accompanied by the roar of a pig being slaughtered. Brother Chen, I want to break through, I'm going to break through. 